Hey, what's up, folks? Today, we're diving into the world of air-to-water heat pumps, breaking down those common E-designated errors and giving you the lowdown on how to fix them. So, let's kick it off by saying that error codes in air-to-water heat pumps are like the secret language of your system, helping you pinpoint specific issues. Let's roll through some of the most frequent errors and the recommended moves to get things back on track. A. Error E1, the PCB, printed circuit board, glitch. Serious stuff, people. First, kill the power, check all the connections, power, communication, sensors, the whole shebang. Make sure you've got the right voltage flowing from the electrical line. Give it a reboot, and if the problem sticks around, you might need to swap out that PCB. B. Now, E3, the high pressure switch or high pressure pressure switch making a scene, causing too much heat pump condenser pressure. Here's what you gotta do. Check the wiring connections, from the outdoor to the indoor unit. Make sure your circuit is waterlogged, no air in there. Confirm that your hot water tank is full. Make sure water flow is a go, open all the valves in the circuit. Don't forget to check if the water filter is playing nice. Double check that all shut off valves are wide open. But hold up, E3 might also mean the thermal protection system is flexing its muscles. Give that thermal protection a reset, and make sure your water system is getting the proper hydration, as mentioned earlier. C. E4 is on deck, triggered by the low-pressure sensor catching some abnormal vibes. Check the wiring connections from the outdoor to the indoor unit. It's a good call to inspect the status of the outdoor unit's evaporator fan and give that heat exchanger a little TLC. D. E5, the compressor overload party crasher. Verify you've got the right voltage flowing, from the electrical line. Inspect the power connections or equipment connections. Check that water supply, keep it flowing. E, last but not least, E9, the electronic expansion valve troublemaker. Check the wiring connections, sensors, and where they're hanging out. Double check the wiring connections for that electronic expansion valve. 